Welcome back to every NES game. I'm Slider, as usual, joined by Manga. Hiya. I want to follow this in a classic literature I never quite expected to see a video game of, but I'm not sure why. Yeah, it's... Not what it... It's a story you could make a reasonably good adventure game yeah. out of. The question is, did they? Wait, adventure game? <laughs> oh. No, oh, of course they made a platformer. As you do, I guess. By the way, this is the most nothing jumping I've ever seen. So we have this sort of throwing weapon that kind of goes in an arc, which is not ideal. This just looks incredibly like they're trying to pretend they're not ma totally ripping off a Mario game. And now, because we got that, we have a slingshot, and we died by barrel. But if it's easy, there's barrels. Look at Tom's outfit. Tom is dressed like Mario. Just without a mustache. <laughs> Actually, he kind of is. And a hat. He has a hat. It's a, it's a bigger hat than Mario's, but it's, it's still a red hat. With a red yeah. shirt and blue overalls. Yeah. You know, admittedly, I only read uh, the sort of, I guess, companion story, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, uh, in high school. But I'm going to take a wild guess that this is not the most accurate depiction of this story. Not really, no. I mean, I'm sure there have been worse literary adaptations. It's technically possible, and I jumped into a bird. Oh. Uh, this is so. What? That's, that's him daydreaming in class. Is oh, if you lose, you have to wake up and pay attention in class. <gasps> the worst horror. Apparently, Huckle apparently Huckleberry Finn is playable somehow in this game. Oh, there's a two-player mode, so I guess that explains that. Totally makes sense. Okay, that's just embarrassing. I hope the microphone's picking up the slow clap. It's a very good new microphone, so it probably is. But yeah... The weird thing is that they keep dropping this item, but all it does is like, you have a slingshot, and now you still have a slingshot. Good job. Congrats on your slingshotery. What's with this giant kid? Deciding where I should go. By the way, those kids drop things that make it the arcing throw item again. Unless you poof them into... Things. Surprisingly, they're actually pretty effective against these things. What is it with I Like, they're like... I think they're supposed to be like sailors or something, but they look just like giant kids. Giant babies that are trying to kill us. Yeah, in giant babies in sailor suits they're trying to kill you. You were throwing stuff in completely the I know. Way. Try again. A slingshot just looks like you're throwing rocks. Well, yeah. To be fair, this isn't the slingshot, that was the other weapon. Now we go into the ship's interior. You know, I do appreciate that they had the logic to realize that. If you have a level where you go into a ship's interior, at some point the ship has to end, so you should just go the other way. I say that because there are games that would not think of that. No, there are games that just go on for... What? Games not with realism? <gasps> oh, and you, did you get a superstar? Yeah. Though I was not willing to risk it anyway on the first time I got it, because I don't trust this game. That's fair enough. Motor rats. I will say, th 
This weapon should be awful, but it's actually way more effective than it sh than expected. I think because you can just throw it so quickly. It's still a million times better than those games where you have where your range is like a foot in front of you. Those are the worst. Yeah, it's like, what's even the point of having a ranged weapon if it's not gonna hit anything that you couldn't just punch in the face anyway? Uh, what? The giant mouse fell from the sky and killed me. That... well, have you never been on a ship before? That's why the, That's why sailors always worried about rats. I... I... Because I... giant ones jump from the sky and kill you. Why am I thinking of pigeons? Maybe pigeons carrying rats. That's why they were in the sky. That is like an unending plague. I feel like the music is a lot more serious than the style of the game warrants. <laughs> it kind of is. So there's really not much going on in this game, admittedly. Not really, you're just a kid who's bored in class and daydreaming about running around on a ship throwing rocks at rats. I think most of us try not to die this easily in our daydreams, though. Like, especially not to giant rats. Yeah. Invincibility again. Decided to take advantage of it this time. It is actually good invincibility. Hooray! Yay! So what do you think you get a fire flower? Uh, don't I already have one by default? Oh, best part! <laughs> it works on the boss, yes! Nifty. That saves a lot of dicking around. Honestly, I'll give this game one thing. I, I can't think of another game where you can just be invincible and then just kill the boss like that. Oh god! Happy Japanese octopi. Again, very realistic interpretation, isn't it? And, oh, oh, I start here again. Oh. Just start, start here. You go past the boss and you're all the way back to the very beginning. Yeah, the... I, I think that's enough for this literary adventure for one day. We all feel very educated and ready to go write our shitty 7th grade in American high school English papers. Yes. That was a video game, alright. <laughs> that, that was indeed a game that you play. I guess, if you really want to, I'm not sure why you would. I'm not sure why that game exists. That, that can go in the pile of why is this for quite a fair few of those so far, especially like the two-thirds of Adventures of... Actually, in my opinion, all of Adventures of Lolo, but at least two-thirds. <laughs> this game could just be called Let's Exploit Public Domain for Profit. That's the film industry's business. Can't wait to play the Sherlock Holmes game that rips off uh, Mega Man. It'd still be a better adaptation than Sherlock. Fair enough. <laughs>